This video explains the workflow for generating a world that looks like reality. It uses 360-degree cameras and spatial generative image processing technology to create a realistic world. The data is sourced from the open source Mapillary and is converted into 3D using Gaussian splatting. Using the same steps as in this video, you can convert your data into 3D. Mapillary allows access to a vast array of image data, and I hope this technology will bring new innovations to the Mapillary community. So, let's get started. Firstly, about Gaussian splatting. Gaussian splatting is a 3D rendering technique that was introduced in 2023 under the title 3D Gaussian Splatting for Real-Time Radiance Field Rendering. It creates a realistic space by reconstructing point clouds from camera images using SFM, a structure from motion. Recent advancements in 3D rendering technologies are rapid and have the potential to generate new innovations. Next is about Mapillary. In this video, we will retrieve images from Mapillary's data and convert them into 3D using Gaussian splatting. First, let's access Mapillary. Since we are using a 360-degree camera this time, Make sure to check 360 camera only in the filter. Let's first take a look at some images taken with a 360 degree camera. This camera is mounted on the rooftop of a car. On Mapillary, you can access data like this, captured by someone. For this project, I have already found data that is perfect for 3D rendering, so let's move there. It's a park in Yokohama. It seems someone has captured the data all at once, at the same time. It nicely covers the entire area. Let's use this data. To download the images, we will use this script. It downloads image data from the API within a specified range. The URL for this script will be provided in the description. Let's use it while thanking the creator. To use this script, you will need several modules and a token from Mapillary. Let's obtain the token from Mapillary. Go to the Mapillary website and issue a token from the developer page. You will need to register as a user. I have obtained the token with the content Gaussian splatting test now, let's retrieve the images.
This is the script mentioned earlier. Enter the acquired token in the token field. The area has already been specified. When you run the Python code, the download will begin and several folders will be created. Make sure to delete the unnecessary images that are not from the 360 degree camera. The image check is complete. Since Gaussian splatting does not accept images from 360 degree cameras, we will cut out 90 degree images from the 360 degree camera images. To do this, we will use this script. It cuts out 90 degree images from acquire rectangular images. Clone this repository and use video underscore eqir.py to do the cutting. Remember to thank the original creator of the fork. Running the script will produce images like this. A 360 degree camera is efficient as it can capture the entire surroundings in one go. Now, let's proceed to 3D rendering. First, we will use CoreMap for SFM, Structure from Motion, to obtain camera positions and point clouds. CoreMap can be downloaded by accessing the link in the description. Please specify the DB file and for the images, choose the folder containing the images you cut out earlier. First is Feature Extraction, which will take some time. Next is feature matching, which will take even longer. Wow. 
Finally, we come to reconstruction. Slowly, it starts to take on a 3D form. Comparing it with Google Earth, you can really see the accuracy. The reconstruction is complete. Next, we will generate the files needed for Gaussian splatting. For dense reconstruction, please specify the folder containing the images. This will create the necessary data. Three folders named Images, Sparse, and Stereo have been created. Please place the files from the Sparse folder into a newly created folder named Zero. With this, the preparation is complete. Please copy the three folders, images, sparse, stereo, to your workspace. Since we are using Google Colab, I have copied them to Google Drive.
Please run the Colab code. Change the folder path following train.py to your own. Once the training is complete, apply file will be generated in the folder mentioned in the output. If you're running out of GPU memory, specify R2 or 4 to reduce the resolution to half or a quarter. The training is complete. Now, let's take a look at the Ply file. By uploading it to a site named Supersplat, you can view the generated splat. The splat is now displayed. Let's zoom in and take a closer look. It's beautifully generated. The center of the park is well rendered, likely due to the abundance of images in that area. Finally, using Supersplat allows you to edit the 3D rendered splat. Let's remove the points that are far away. Thank you for watching. If you have a 360 degree camera, you can create realistic 3D models. So please have fun with it and help to energize the Mapillary community.